Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Carl from Techful Goodies. I just wanted to jump in here to show you a quick tutorial on how to use the multicam in DaVinci Resolve. I feel a little silly for not knowing this earlier because I just shot my first product review, went to Five and Blow, bought three bags full of stuff, reviewed it, put it up on the channel, spent so much time editing that film and didn't know about multicam. So basically multicam allows you to use two different camera footages or more, and then it has an interface to basically cut between them pretty quickly. I was doing it all manually, so I wanted to get on here and show you how to do it so that if you're interested in using two different cameras, you can. So the first thing I wanna do is bring in my source clips. I have one of a camera of me showing off the product and another camera, which is my GoPro, shooting straight down at the table so I could do close-ups. I'm typically used to jumping right into the edit tab and going for it, but this one you have to start in the media tab. So we'll jump over there, go ahead and open up and drag in our two clips. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the clips in the media pool. You can see that this one here is basically the front facing camera. And this one here is the down facing camera. Then you can select both of your clips, right mouse click and say, create new multi-clip using selected clips. It's gonna offer you up some options. I'm gonna go ahead and call this a multi-cam. And then what I wanna do is go ahead and sync this up by sound. I was having to do this by hand and it totally sucked. So I'm gonna sync this up by sound and DaVinci will automatically sync those two clips based on the waveforms inside those videos. Then as far as the angle name, you're gonna to wanna to choose clip name. You can choose what you want, I chose clip name. That way I know it's either my iPhone footage capture or my GoPro footage. I leave these two unchecked and I move source clips to original clips bin. I'll show you what that does. So I'm gonna hit create. All right, now what it's done is it takes the original clips and put them into an original clips bin. If you don't want that in your project, that's fine. You can remove them. I just wanted them there for reference. So now if we jump back over to the edit tab, you're gonna see that it might not be up here, but that just might mean that you're in your original clips folder. Make sure you select into the master folder and you can turn that off and on by this little button right up here in the top left corner. So let's create a new timeline. I'm just gonna call it multicam. And we can basically drag this like it's a new clip. What it's done is it's overlaid both of those videos into one clip and it allows you to cut between them anytime you want. First thing you wanna do is close the inspector, double click on your multicam clip and it brings it up in the preview window. And if you don't see two windows here, this little button up in the top right corner up here, that allows you to show two windows side by side. Okay, so now you have your multicam timeline and your multicam preview. So if I drag my mouse through here, you can see that it's showing most of my GoPro footage, which is shot from top down. What I can do is go ahead and right mouse click on my timeline, switch multi-clip angle, and choose my front facing camera as my primary camera because that's the one I'm gonna have up most of the time. So let's go ahead and pick a spot here in the timeline to show you how this works. So I'm gonna pick a spot right over here where I'm about to bring out the box of yes and no buttons that I use in my reviews. So let's take a look at these tools real quick right here in the bottom left corner of the multicam window. You have source, offline audio track, multicam and annotations. The first thing that I wanna use is the multicam tool. That allows me to basically select between which camera I want to be showing on the timeline and when. So right here at this mark, you can see that I'm bringing in the box. So let's go ahead and switch to the GoPro here. And what you can see is that it went ahead and made a cut right where I selected that clip. And then I'm gonna move forward a little bit here and it's open. And I'm gonna go back to me where I talk about what's going on for a second. Slide forward a little bit. And now that I'm taking the buttons out, I wanna actually hop back. So let's click GoPro, slide forward a bit. And probably right about the third or fourth button, I'm going to switch back to me. That way it's a little less amount of time actually looking at the table. So we'll switch back to me. And there you go. That's it. That is how easy that is. Do you don't know how much time I spent this weekend trying to move tracks around, slide them, line them up manually. So if we go back here and watch our main preview window, hit play. 
and I don't have sound in the background of this right now. That's it. All ready to go. And I didn't have to do anything. Just a little bit of setup, a couple clicks, and here I am switching back and forth. I promise. I just didn't know that, but I do now. So I wanted to get the word out as much as possible. You can go ahead and spend some time looking into this feature, put it in yourself, give it a test. It's called multicam. It's built into DaVinci Resolve. I'm on DaVinci Resolve 18. It's going to be a major time saver for me from now on, and I hope it helps you too. And if it did, hey, I'm trying to get it to 100 subscribers so I can change my URL up in the window up above to youtube.com slash techful goodies or something rather than a bunch of numbers. So if you could help me out, that'd be awesome. And hey, have a great day. Hope to see you in the comment sections.